yesterday we we did the first hole and uh, we managed to put the slip inside and today we will do the same thing uh, but with the second hole at the moment they are drilling the the second hole it's an inclined borehole as i said and we have the flexible slip there and uh, we're just preparing it so when the hole will be finished we can install it directly de nombreuses activités industrielles relativement lourdes qu'on a eues dans le passé en région Wallonne. Mais on a toute une série de terrains qui sont plutôt des friches, un peu comme, comme celle-ci, sur lesquelles les sols sont fortement contaminés en liaison avec les anciennes activités. Et qui dit sol contaminé dit également eau souterraine contaminée, puisqu'elle se trouve dans le, le sous-sol. Et donc dans ce contexte-là, notre équipe, qui est l'équipe d'hydrogéologie et géologie de l'environnement de l'Université de Liège, euh, participe à un projet européen dans le cadre FP7 Marie Curie, projet qui s'appelle Advocate, qui porte sur des techniques innovantes de dépollution des eaux souterraines. We chose this place because it's, it used to be a former industrial uh, site. Well, there are still some industries going on, but um, we have some contaminants here, like uh, cyanide, uh, BTEX, HAP, and we thought that this would be the ideal location to perform some experiments, some innovation um, in soil and groundwater contamination. The aim of all these projects that we're having here is to find, uh, to develop um, uh, in situ remediation of uh, soil and groundwater contamination. The problem that we have in Europe is that at the moment we haven't found any innovative technology that is capable to remediate efficiently. So the aim of this European project is the cooperation in order to find a better way to remediate the, the sites. I spent a long time uh, doing a review of the actual techniques that, they, that were used for measuring contaminant fluxes in the unsaturated zone. I contacted uh, Ofer Dan uh, because with his group of um, uh, researchers in Israel, they developed this system. So we got in contact and uh, we talked about the site and finally we decided to install the system. After um, several years of, um, of development, where we saw the need to identify the fluxes and the velocities of flow and the velocity of propagation of contaminants, we've developed a system that goes from land surface or from the contaminant source all the way through the Vedo zone to the groundwater and allows us continuous monitoring of the hydrological and chemical properties of the water and whatever the water is carrying with it uh, through the Vedo zone to the groundwater. We have developed a system which has been tested in over 50 sites. It was uh, many in Israel, in Spain, in Namibia, in South Africa and now also we have in Belgium now with uh, the goal of trying to identify or characterize the fluxes. When the borehole is finalized and uh, once that we have checked the, the depth, what we do is to, to take the flexible sleeve, and we need several people for doing that, and then we start pulling in the borehole. So once it's pulling in, what we do is to prepare the cement with some additives, and what we will do it is to pure it within the flexible slip. So the effect of this cement will be to expand. So with this, you will guarantee that you have a perfect contact between the slip and the, the soil. Because in the outer part of the slip, we will have some, some sensors uh, measuring uh, water content and some sen sensors which will allow us to take some water samples as well. From now, the system as we see it here will be sending a lot of electronic information to Natalia's office and, and we will be able to see it on the net. Like you will go from the old, any place on the world to the net, you click the name of the site and you can see a variety of data as it is measured online right now. We 
On collabore avec la SPAC sur ce site qui est en charge de, de gérer la problématique de, de la pollution et donc de la réhabilitation du site. Et donc les résultats euh, qu'on espère obtenir dans le cadre du projet seront directement valorisés par la SPAC, sachant qu'une meilleure compréhension de, de la dynamique des polluants dans le sol et dans l'eau souterraine leur permettra d'aller de, de, vers des solutions plus efficaces en termes de dépollution, voire de se dire que finalement la nature peut faire bien les choses et qu'il y a une certaine atténuation naturelle des polluants. Donc euh, par l'effet de tous les mécanismes qu'on essaye de mettre en évidence, qu'on puisse démontrer que les polluants soit se dégradent, soit sont piégés et que finalement l'impact reste relativement limité. Thank you.